your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Winner of more than a dozen Metro and State Awards for broadcast excellence. Linmar, your, your news starts now. Linmar. It's Thursday, January 29th, 2009. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, underclassmen, you are an important part of Linmar history. You are the first group of students to register for your class online. But the deadline is tomorrow. Today for the Club Connection, Emily has some news you can use. Emily? That was Mr. Kennedy from the counselor's office. Good morning. Thanks for stopping by. It's really important for everyone to sign up for classes soon, right? Right. Uh, as Zach said earlier, the deadline is tomorrow at 3.30, so we'd like everyone to take care of that today, mm -hmm. if possible. All right, it's really, oh, <laughs> where can we go to sign up? Well, you can use any computer uh, with access to the internet, and you have to have your PowerSchool account, uh, user ID, and password. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if we, and the counseling office has special hours too, right? That's correct. We are open this evening until 7 p.m., and also uh, students can stop by the guidance office at any time if they have questions. Okay. Anything else? Well, we'd like to have a, take care of that today, and um, the deadline is uh, tomorrow at 3.30, so we just want to repeat that information. All right, sounds good. Again, the deadline is tomorrow at 3.30. Mr. Kennedy, thanks for joining us. Anytime, Emily. And Zach, back to you. Thanks, Emily. In other news, congratulations to yesterday's Round 1 winners in the Iowa Hold'em Tournament, including Jeremy Jacobs, Adrian Barbrino, Jordan Ulmer, Rachel Jordan, and Tony Peterson. Tomorrow is your last opportunity to be a round one winner. Report to the lower commons by 8 a.m. if you are interested. It's a combination of classic fairy tales with a new and very unusual twist. It's a Brothers Grimm Spectaculathon. The winner play continues tonight and Friday evening at 7.30. To reserve tickets, call 447-3046. Hope to see you there. We will be back with more LMTV news right after this. <laughs> Have you ever thought about hosting a foreign exchange student? Hosting a foreign exchange student can be a great experience. Now is the time to be selecting your student from another country. You can share your American culture with them and at the same time learn about their country. If you're interested, see Ms. Condon in room 225. Anyone interested in trying out for the nationally ranked POMs, there is an informational meeting uh, Monday night at 6 in the Lowell Theater. In other news, if you did not get a chance to complete your friend match from form, there is still time. Pick up a form today and return it in, or pick up a form today in Mrs. Lampy's room, F160, and return it today. Now Drew takes a look at your Linmar Sports. That's great, Zach. Tonight, Linmar Sports, JV and Varsity Wrestling will travel to Dubuque Senior. Ninth grade, A and B Girls Basketball will host Jefferson at 4 p.m. In other sports news, attention all girls soccer players, including seniors and returning letter winners. Be in the auditorium tonight at 6.30 for the team photo. Be sure to be in your black uniform, socks, and cleats. Anyone going out for softball, meet tomorrow morning at 7.45 in the study hall room, I-015. That's sports, Zach. Back to you. Thanks, Drew. And news from the counselors. Rockwell Collins is offering internships in Communication Applications Engineering. You must be 16 years and have a cumulative GPA of 3.8. These internships, internships offer flexible hours and great training opportunities. If you are interested, stop by the counseling office and pick up an application. Laborers Local number 43 JATC is accepting applications for their apprentice apprenticeship program in March. <laughs> Come by the counseling office to pick up a brochure with more details. Linmar is partnering with the Car College Planning Center for a financial aid planning night. It's Tuesday at 6.30 in the Little Theater. For more information on these stories, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now Nate takes a look at the arts and clubs. Right you are, Zach. On the Linmar club scene, contest speech students going to state, please have your money turned into Miss. Miss Dayton in the main office by noon tomorrow. If you have questions, see Mr. or Mrs. Fry. Radio broadcasters will meet today after school in the media center. Guitar Club is looking for a few new members who are interested in teaching and learning the guitar. Guitar Club meets after school on Tuesdays in Mr. Nematalo's room. Uh, Voice is going on a sledding trip from Friday after school. Uh, 
from 3.30 to 5.30. Sign up in Ms. Zamolik Smith's room, uh, I-136. Transportation will be provided. Spectra members, if you want to go to the governor's uh, conference in Des Moines next month, sign up as soon as possible. See Ms. Zamolik. Science Club ski trip uh, to sundown is going this Saturday, if you are interested. Sign up today in Ms. Mr. Hutchison's room, G145. That's your club update. Back to you, Zach. Thanks, Nate. Today on Channel 1, the latest news and more. That's today at 3 on LMTV. Now Drew takes a look at our lunch. Thanks, Zach. Today we have a Hutchison household favorite. It's grilled chicken flatbread with California blend veggies, lettuce, and tomato with a fresh fruit mix and white cake. The other lines will offer the soup bar, pizza, or a la carte items. Back to you, Zach. Thanks, Drew. That's always a special dish it in the really Hutchinson is. household. <laughs> Weatherman Alex Starr says there's a chance of snow today. It will be mostly cloudy with a high of 24. Tonight, there's a slight chance of snow before midnight with a low around 1. Tomorrow, mostly sunny with a high of 18. That's going to have to wrap up today's edition of LMTV News. Oh, remember, <laughs> LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow, and may the good news be with you, Lamar. <laughs>